Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In this lesson, we're going to be discussing the fa'il, the subject or the doer of the action, and this is a very important lesson. The fa'il can either be a personal pronoun, for example, the habat, meaning the pronoun is embedded in the verb itself. So, in which case the verb will change according to the number of the people and the gender of the person that you're talking about. Okay, so that's in on page 22 of this book, and you can refer back to that. Or it can be an ism vahir, in which case the verb usage will be as follows. Meaning, the, the doer, the file, is actually physically mentioned. So, there are different situations that occur when that happens, and this is very important to learn. <clears throat> the first situation is that it's a zahir mu'annath haqiqi, meaning it's a zahir, meaning it's mentioned, mu'annath feminine, haqiqi, it's an actual feminine person, a female that you're talking about. So, the rule is this that the verb will be wahid mu'annath, it will be brought. Uh, just like a uh, singular feminine. قامت عائشة So this is مؤنث حقيقي It's a ظاهر A ظاهر means that it's actually physically mentioned in the sentence. So قامت It is singular feminine. ضمير مؤنث It will be مؤنث according to the uh, preceding noun. Okay. So here Many people might get confused and think that المعلمات نصرت It basically boils down to the same thing That you are saying نصرت المعلمات But with the word flipped around But the issue is that in the construction of the sentence المعلمات is مبتدى It's not فاعل Because this is now a nominal sentence so this is Mubtada. The fa'il and the fa'il is here. And the, the fa'il is actually embedded inside the fa'il itself. So now what's going to happen is that according to the noun, the verb will actually change. So here it's singular feminine. So this will be singular feminine. Al-mu'allimatani nasarata. This is dual feminine. So... This will be dual feminine. Al-mu'allimatu nasarna. This is plural feminine. So this will be plural feminine. The third situation is ظاهر مؤنث حقيقي And a word appears between the fail and the fa'il. So what you're going to do is you can do two things here. You can either use the masculine verb or you can use the feminine verb. For example, قَرَأَ الْيَوْمَ عَائِشَةُ عَائِشَةُ is ظاهر مؤنث حقيقي ظاهر because it's mentioned physically مؤنث حقيقي because it's an actual female that you're talking about but between قَرَأَ and عَائِشَةُ there is الْيَوْمَ now because of that قَرَأَ can be masculine or you can also say قَرَأَت both are permissible The fourth situation is, it's ظاهر مؤنث غير حقيقي. ظاهر meaning it is physically mentioned. But مؤنث غير حقيقي means it is مؤنث سماعي. Okay, for example, الشمس, it is مؤنث سماعي. So, what's going to happen is, you can use واحد مؤنث or واحد مذكر verb for it. So, you can say, طَلَعَ الشَّمْسِ This is masculine. Or you can say طَلَعَةِ الشَّمْسِ Both. ظَاهِرْ جَمْعُ التَّكْسِيرِ جَمْعُ التَّكْسِيرِ If you remember a few lessons back, جَمْعَ مُكَسَّرْ refers to that جَمْعَ that plural that does not retain its original shape. You can do both things. You would use واحد مذكر or واحد مؤنث. You can use قال الرجال or قالت الرجال both قال masculine singular قالت feminine singular 
you can use both of them. Any ism zahir, it will be wahid and corresponding in gen gender. Okay, so a rajulu, darab al rajulu, it is a rajulu is the fail which is fa'il which is zahir, but it will be singular. The verb brought for it will always be singular. Darab al rajulu, darab al rajulani, darab al rijalu. Okay, so even though Ar-Rajulani is duo, Ar-Rijalu is plural, you see that Dharaba is singular in all three cases. If the Dhamir Mudhakkar is used, and here we have the same example as here, Al-Mu'allimatu Nasarat, but in the case of masculine, Al-Qadimu is Mubtada, Dhahaba is Fi'al and Fa'il uh, embedded into the uh, the file is embedded in the uh, in the fail so in this case what's going to happen you have to change the verb according to how many people are being mentioned for example al khadimu dhahaba al khadimani dhahaba al khadimuna dhahabu so dual plural the verb becomes plural here the verb becomes uh, dual here Dhamir Jama'ud al mukassar you will say Wahid Mu'annath or Jama Mudhakkar. For example, Al Rijalu Qamu, here it is, this, this is Mubtada, and Qalu Qamu is the Khabar. So therefore, you would uh, use uh, Qamu, plural, masculine, or Qamat, singular, feminine. So these rules are very, very important to understand. And, uh, you know, the, the fa'il will, according to the fa'il, the verb will change or won't change. Uh, can you, uh, Sometimes you can use singular, sometimes you can use feminine. And it's not just uh, a case of simply translating it, simply translating Arabic into Eng or English into Arabic, he said and she said. There are other rules that need to be implemented, and these are those rules. So please learn these rules very carefully, because this is, like I said, a very important lesson.